Our current STP makes a number of statements in relation to our role in active travel. This policy position builds on those and sets out a number of challenges for the North in delivering active travel schemes, but also what role TFN can proactively play in the short to medium term to support partners within this policy space. This work is really important as it will feed into our second strategic transport plan, which we're looking to publish a draft of in spring 2023. Um, it's also really important at the moment because government have recently set up Active Travel England, which is the first national body that will look at cycling and walking infrastructure in the UK. And TFN, with our role as one voice in the north, really needs to influence that body and make sure that what they recommend represents what our members want. TFM will use this work to influence our statutory advice to government, but also there's four key roles where we can more directly support our partners, particularly around promoting and supporting active travel and their requirements and schemes, using our analytical framework to build the evidence base and make the case for improved investment in active travel schemes within the North. TFN also has a role to collate best practice of active travel schemes and use that to kind of distill across our partners within the North and share those lessons learned, as well as uh, using our role to influence and raise the profile of active travel and what's required to better improve that across the North. We hope our policy will support our partners in making a better case for investment for active travel which clearly will have benefits for all people across the north, meaning that they have improved cycling and walking facilities in their local areas and the environmental and health impacts that come from that. Music